Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So today we're going to go on to our video plus uh, podcast again. So for those people um, who can only hear us, not see us, you are missing out on a lovely pink top that is enhancing my turn today. Which... It's the, uh, I think it's the filter on this camera. It does make it look, uh, mine looks purple. Base, oh. base looks red. Top. Off fingers, pink and dill. I look, this, this, it's good naturally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, teeth, teeth are going white, are they? Yeah, yeah, fresh they are. Lobster. Yeah. <laughs> lobster. To be honest, we have been away. We've just got back from one of our trips. I've had lobster because that would be a bad, bad way. Allergic to shellfish. Allergic, yeah, that would go very wrong. Not good idea to sit between a man who's allergic to shellfish and another person who's allergic to peanuts when you're in a Thai restaurant. <laughs> it limited my choices dramatically. I was livid. Uh, cashew nuts are often on my yeah. my favourites on the old uh, cashews and prawns, funny enough. Mm. So, uh, yeah, not not good to uh, be, be near you in a Thai restaurant. Uh, luckily, I've had to actually eat the, the prawn or shellfish. But, um, yeah, but I didn't really fancy risking it. Imagine if you start puffing uh, up whilst you're away. It's never happened. No. Literally just, I've eaten say, a prawn before and been Don't, let, you, don't let your, uh, your current, you know, <laughs> views, well, uh, your future belief, you know, what, what could happen. Seamless link. To, uh, That's it. We're, um, so today we're going to touch on a couple of different things from obviously what we've learned whilst we're away and why we go away. Um, obviously it's for a jolly. Right? That's, yeah. that's the main reason. No, but we have to make things up that we learn and discuss. And <laughs> sure, and we're so all right now. Let's. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to come up with something as if give reasons to the uh, to wives yeah. and girlfriends or fiance. Mm -hmm. Top of that. Oh. Um, but yeah, so we've been away and we've worked on a lot of stuff to do with the business. As uh, many of you may know, we're uh, looking to to grow as always in terms of things, and that's it. I think it's often you can hit parts of being very still. Uh, but we're trying to bring more to. Uh, our clients as well as actually grow in terms of venues um, and say this is something that has been a stressor the last few months and we get asked a lot of questions about what's going on with St. Ives and to be honest with you it's kind of been out of our hands for multiple different reasons but that's once again you can only you know I, I believe you are almost in control as you, you know you can really control as much you can control some things and you've got to kind of let things uh, uh, be but also just stay positive with those things you know and it, you know times will get hard and you know, often we have been challenged in businesses and it's kind of what we're going to go into today because obviously we've worked on a few things uh, for ourselves um, in terms of the way we, we think and look at things going forward. And one of the big things that we, we took from the weekend, uh, some people may find this quite odd because as much as we possibly don't come across as people that would uh, work on these sorts of things, it was uh, the, the fear and the faith, wasn't it? So that yeah, was, uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, the big sort of, uh, statement as such is sort of not letting your current results or even in past failures, uh, results determine your, you know, your future vision and, and deter you from actually striving for that and growing. Because time and again, we've seen people look at what's, what's what they're doing currently. They hit a plateau, or whatever, and get stuck and then give up. Uh, back we right before like a, a real growth phase, almost. Or you, in oh, terms of results, I mean, you're looking at people who you know diet really well for four weeks, quit because it gets hard, or they just they have one day, one bad day. They could have been on the brink of a big sort of weight drop off. It, that could have happened week think, five. You never know. The thing, the thing is relative. So if you're somebody now who feels like you may have hit a plateau and you've been, even if you've been training for a long time, and we get it for sure, right? And it's about, right, you've got to that point and it's like, right, well, this is all my body can achieve. Or, or that's what you believe because you've not necessarily seen yourself in any other no. way. It might be the best you've ever been or felt. And then often we stop. But as we know, when things are in motion, it's a lot easier to keep going than and to keep moving forwards. And obviously, if you if you stop, it takes a lot more energy to start and go forwards. And and I think that's why, as you say, people can get to a position where they go, oh, you know, I've achieved something pretty good, and then they kind of stop because it's like, well, this must be all I can do because it gets harder, it gets tougher. Um, and sometimes you have to ask yourself uh, the question: Am I really moving towards what I want to achieve? Uh, am I working hard enough? Am I, have I have I changed that stimulus as such or asked more of myself or do I believe that I can't do it so I'm just going to give up? I mean, visually in sessions, I often see it with people with weights, just so if you're watching this and you can relate to this, and they'll pick up that 16 kg kettlebell. Now, familiar, isn't it? it's like it's, that that's what they go to each time potentially. But the reality is, there was a time when you didn't believe you could pick up the 16 kg kettlebell. Uh, you know, and that was a that was a limited factor. You stick with the eight or the ten or the twelve. But then you saw Sally do it, right? Sally's picked up the the sixteen kg kettlebell, and you've got Sally can do it. I can do it because it becomes more achievable, and more real that you could do it because you know you make pay yourself to Sally. Yeah. Uh, and then the the next stage is right. Well, if Sally doesn't pick up a twenty twenty four, does that mean you say it's sixteen because you don't think it's real? Or are you going to be the person that goes right? Do you know what? I can do that. When I step out of where I'm comfortable, 
push yourself that little bit further and potentially get a new result, something that you didn't even dream that could have happened uh, with the way you look, feel, shape, strength, health, mental health, all that sort of stuff, because you've challenged yourself again. And that's, I think, as much for our mental state as well, has to be pushed. And, and you know, I mean, we were speaking once again uh, to Ryan and a few people, and we were talking about actually a longer term, obviously this is a little bit potentially out there for some people, but things like dementia and, and things like that, and actually how, those people, I think there's a video or TV series on the moment where uh, people who are borderline have got dementia and things like that work in a busy like kitchen and stuff because they've been asked to keep stimulus and change and push themselves. It's actually helping them massively. Uh, and for us, I mean, for people, if we're not changing and, and challenging, then I kind of feel like you're either there or going there, yeah. and down. Just you so, stop playing life out, really, aren't you? If you're not growing, yeah, we all need to, yeah, you know, personal growth in, in whatever it may, may be your life. Uh, as a whole or specific areas you know work business you know, a sport whatever it is you need some sort of challenge and it, it's that fear potentially that comes in so fear or faith That's having it. faith in a process and seeing someone do something can, can push you on to even just give it a try having a fear of past failures or fear of others judging you even like we've had it where people are like oh if I don't know if I do this what are other people going to think about me doing this I think the big thing is if, if you are if you are watching this on a record or whatever, or even now, there's a couple of people on live, it's, I mean, it's a quiet time of the day, but if you've ever had a fear of something and have, have achieved it, put it in the group, because I think there's a lot of people who have achieved amazing things. And that's why we've done yeah. a couple of the pictures, potentially, because visually it's easy to see and people like seeing visual things, but we've actually got written text that are going up regularly because... People are sharing some more. Awesome it, it's, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. And like I, I genuinely think that people are shocked by what they can achieve. And it's always hard to... It, without sounding daft, sort of receive praise and almost to be a, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's lovely to hear like what the, what the guys are doing with uh, people in sessions, what people are achieving is is different league. I mean, I think Zach just popped up there. I mean, that guy, wow. I mean, that's not not being funny, but it, I, I I actually go to hairdressers, be local, pick it up, okay, go and check it out. Don't judge my hair or anything, but um, she's really cool. She was saying, oh, Zach comes and trains with you. Yeah, oh, mate, and and even saw no garage, and, and the guy I told him like skateboard yeah. button was like that guy's insane, and I was like, yeah, but. Without being rude, he didn't turn up in that. He didn't turn up in like incredible condition. He's oh yeah, he's always a strong guy for sure. But he's taken trust in the program. He's followed the steps. He's done it over a long period of time, and now yeah, he is in incredible shape and, and great strength. And there's a lot of people like that. I mean, we had a guy come up to us in a in a different gym, and he said, oh, "I'm going to do somebody's six week program before I come to the unit." I was like, "No, that's not what you don't have to start to get fit enough to start." Don't it's kind because of the your reality game. is. Not everyone's walked through this door looking as maybe as amazing what you've seen some of the pictures and the videos and stuff there online. But, you know, people always have a start in place and it's about their commitment and sitting into a structure, sitting into a format and having that belief. Because when you first start, you've almost got no expectations. So you have the faith that you can get better. And then we do get better. And then we're like, can I, can I go any further? Or is this me? Am I limited? Mm -hmm. And it's about going, right, do you know what? At one point, I never thought I was going to drop 14 pounds. And you did it. So now, instead of going, oh, I don't think I can drop another 14 pounds, just go with it. Like, just aim for it, keep it in your head, keep it as a target, even and just keep moving just, forward. Even if it's 12, yeah, two. six, two, whatever it is. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It's like, better than zero or going back the other way. 100%. And, don't, and, you know, it doesn't always become easy for sure, but sticking to real simple things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's another topic that I'll be going into and we'll go into potentially next week, but um, micro habits and, and stuff like that and how we look at that compound, that building, that effects of what we do and we've got a really cool hack in which I think it is almost hard to, to fail at in the politest way. And then you just keep going and going and going. You don't realize what's happening. Yeah. Uh, and we've reset a couple of our, our habits for sure. And we yeah. after going through it. Okay, um, I'll, yeah. I'll discuss my, um, the habit I've started this year of being a cold shower. So finishing off any shower with like a cold minute or two. Um, there's physiological benefits for sure, but it's also that psychological uncomfortable thing <laughs> for about five yeah, seconds much, yeah, but also, you wake up you have a shower you obviously wash with hot water and then whack on the cold um and once a month is, isn't too bad is that, month, is that, is yeah. that yeah, yeah. yeah yeah definitely don't want to do uh, much more save that. the water obviously for the save for the, the drought and all that no but every yeah it's been literally every day as a habit now it's just cold shower and uh it's about like i've said it before becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable um knowing that it's going to be cold, but yeah, just do it anyway. And then it's actually building on that, and that's sort of like a trigger, like Josh would say about micro habits. It's more 
right, that's the start of the morning now, such, you know, first thing in the morning, that cold shower will then start me fresh for the morning. Um, yeah, there's, there's also the fact of like, you know, a nice warm shower makes you maybe a little bit more sleepier and you don't actually wake up. Hit the cold one, you're not gonna, you're not gonna back to bed after that. So, yeah. No, it's, it's good. But if I, don't know, if, if you live in uh, colder temperaments, you might have a, you know, a, a water drum outside and jump into that. That'd be quite good. But we'll have to just deal with a definitely no, no, shower. That's uh, ice buckets are challenging. Yeah, I, you, I think you the, should should set one up in your garden instead of shower now and just wash up. A bit, and just... a bit random though in God Manchester. Well. Yeah. Let's be honest. If, I, if you're comfortable with it, mate, then you know, yeah. stay in your bladder. That's if that's what's about. That's your, if that's your common belief that everyone else does that. Not a water bath. I can't, <laughs> can't uh, oh, question dude. the uh, the water. You know, the actual clarity of that water. So I think what we've got to be going through is then we'll keep it short. But when we're looking at what you're doing now, ask yourself: Are you challenging yourself? Have you achieved something that potentially you thought was unattainable, un- or, you know, unachievable in the past? Look back to things like, right, am I going to a session and staying comfortable or can I push on? And don't just wait for the next person to be that person to take that step out. Try it. Hey, listen, if it doesn't work out or you feel like you fail, you haven't because it's a, it's a learning. You don't fail, but you learn from these things. Um, I know it probably sounds really sort of like probably very mindset, but I always, we've always said it, it's what we work on. We don't just work on nutrition and training. If you don't get the mindset right, if you don't have the belief that you can do better, then you've got to, you're not going to make it right. That's why we do our mid seminars. That's why we go through these different things. That's why we build our habits. Because as I was speaking to someone today, they're just like, my motivation's not there. I've got to be honest with you, the last two months, yeah. I've had a right tail off like, in terms of training. Motivation and stuff. always goes up and down. You know, know that. Uh, weirdly, I've managed to get properly into it, across that, those darker winter months. We had a real plan, we stuck to it, we went through there. Yeah. Social months have come around. And I've probably been more 70, 30, if, if even that. Like, you know, the weekends have been there and I've been, there's a lot going on. But it is, it's balancing and, yeah, it's hard. And I've made, a, I've made a decision and I said to Suzanne last night that after this week, I've said what my stag do, I'm coming back and that's it. I've got six weeks, no drink, no thing, because I know the focus is heavy. We've got hopefully the, the new unit coming up. I want to be able to achieve. And there's no, it's no uh, coincidence that I'm like probably – you know, an extra 10, 20% more productive if I don't have a drink on a Saturday. I mean, it's one day of a week that I do have a drink, but it still has a big effect, right? Because it has that knock-on effect. You know, you don't quite get stuff done on Sunday. Monday, you may wake up a little bit more, you know, cloudy and foggy. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. So that's, you know, I'm going out there. And I think that's another thing. It's not comfortable because you're like, uh, August is probably one of the most sociable months for most There's people. There's always things going on there. Definitely. Well, so saying no to people, no to things, potentially well, isn't easy. Do's, weddings. Well, I'm doing stack do this week. I'm like, I sit and I, 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 don't think I, want to see, I don't want to think I'm seeing that drink after that for a good while. Um, I don't I think I'll ever want to drink again. You're going to hit a plateau and, and go beyond, I think. What, like, the drink? On the weekend, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably plateau about one o'clock in the afternoon on the first day. So um, I think it's a little bit of a pray for, pray for Josh. One of those things to get through it. Just, just don't pick up your phone and do some lives, otherwise you may see <laughs> some really random videos. You might see, yeah. You might see more than you want to see. Guys, have a think about what you're doing. I mean, it, you may not be comfortable with this and you may not be someone who's comfortable with mindset and you don't have to share these things. But if you can, there's a good chance you'll be helping other people. But remember that you are in a position potentially now where if you want to achieve more, you can achieve more. It's about looking ahead, setting that. Don't let what your current beliefs and past thoughts and what else you've seen around you hold you where you are. Set a new goal. Potentially even something that's almost unbelievable. As long as you know and feel like you can get there to a point, you've got to work it, stick at it, and turn it up. Good. 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 Oh. Peace. Goodbye.